Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing the something. The Atlanta War are impressive warriors. <laughs> Perhaps one of them will help us practice. The I'm doing something I told myself to I would elves. never do, which is play mm, Magic the Gathering. She seems and my husband an is here with me. Enthusiastic teacher. You'll need to draw mana My husband's from an enthusiastic to teacher too. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, so apparently I need to draw lands to to play spells. So I guess I'll cast a land and put it on the field. I I have some vague you don't have idea of how to play this to how to play yet. the game because my so husband is a is a veteran. Right how long have you been playing? And you can play the Magic the Gathering so Arena since. Okay, uh, this is telling me I should play another land. Play another land? Yeah, all you do. Fun! Okay. Oh, now I can play it? Okay. Okay. Oh, I only have this guy. Okay. I will play the old dude. Tapped. Okay, it can be used again on my next turn. Cool. You can summon creatures to fight for you. Uh, okay. Oh, it drew a card. Okay. So I guess I should play the land first and then play this guy again. <laughs> Don't tell me that. Play the next guy. Only one of your creatures is ready to attack. Oh. Oh. Uh. The guy you played last turn is no longer summoning sick. So it means you can Oh. Okay. So this guy, I can, I can attack. Cool. Now he's ready to pick your opponent. He'll smack him in the face. I didn't realize you couldn't play. You can't play a card as soon as you uh. Play it. You can't attack with a card as soon as you play it. That's right. There's a special condition called haste. We'll get to that. It's a red color. It's a okay. light red and light like green. <laughs> okay. Do I have to click it again? No, no. Oh. So click it again. Click it. And then. Right. Now it's attacking. So okay. You see. One attacker. Okay. The power. Power is a sandwich will deal. Look at how much health it has. It's kind of like your your uh, strength versus con in D and D. <laughs> You're going to pay for that. Oh, you're going to pay for that, apparently. Oh, okay. Oops. Well, it looks like I can I can block, right? She, she, she better have a spell. There you go. So. Ooh, a Loxodon! I do know Loxodons. They're cool. Okay, so I have three planes, uh, so I can play this guy this yeah. turn. Okay, so that does that mean I can play both of these guys this turn? Since that one uh, I didn't play last turn, or yeah, I didn't play it this turn. So if they both aren't summoning sick, and your friend there, the wisp, or whatever she is, <laughs> she's, she's saying to press the attacks. She can press both. Okay, two attackers, go, hit it, hit it, go. Okay, cool. It blocked one, one creature. So they they both yep. okay. Gotcha. Oh, let's continue. Ah, admirable. Pity I have to crush you. You're still a lot of crap for some little creatures on the battlefield. <laughs> All right, so that's bigger than your stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, that's that's a lot bigger than my stuff. That's a big problem. I just said that. All right, I didn't literally just say that, but I said it. So, sure right. you're not going so, back. Play, play, play my land Please, still. Destroy your creatures if you attack now. So if I attack, then I can't block, right? That's correct. Okay. And also, she would be able to block one of your creatures. Um, 
leaving you only one attacking creature. So it's not in your best interest to attack. Okay, so click the no attack button. <laughs> You've shown spirit, but I will show you strength. So she'll knock out my shrine keeper, but I'll be able to keep my loxodon. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh poop. Oh no. Is there any way to get rid of a spell like that? Stand your ground. One of your creatures can block it. So, One? Yeah. So, so this is called a shock block. This is where you sacrifice a creature to keep your health high. See how it's got eight power? Mm -hmm. It'll kill you if it hits you. Yeah. You'll lose the game. So you'd rather sacrifice a creature. It's like sacrificing a pawn in chess. So if so, should I sack my shrine keeper or my loxodon? So since the shrine keeper has less attack power, I would sacrifice the shrine keeper. Now drag it over to there. There you go. And then hit the block button. That's right. Wow. Okay. That shrine keeper jumps into that giant beast. Take down hurt. that beast while it's still recovering. So now you have a card. Take vengeance says destroy target tapped. Creature. Oh crap! So I do I. Where do I tap it? Do I tap? It? Okay. Okay. Ooh. You're not making this easy. Okay. And then attack with this guy, I guess. All right. One attacker. All right. What? what? <laughs> We've got you cornered. Uh oh. Cast the spell. Clear a path to finish her. Tap. Tap all creature. Oh, your opponent. Oh, okay. All creatures she controls with two or less. Uh -oh. What are you, What are you doing here? Oh, you're turning out my brightness. <laughs> okay. So now she has no blockers. Okay, so did it automatically tap them for me? Yep. Okay. And then I attack. She's got one health, you've got three. Oh! Well thought, outsider. I gotcha. So it taps her creatures so she couldn't walk with them. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Spiritual garden. Uh, guardian. When a spiritual guardian enters the battlefield, you gain four life. I like that. Thanks, spiritual guardian. Okay. Cap. Click it. Click to continue. Okay, cool. 